So when Avatar The Lost Airbender Quest for Balance, the trailer came out, people were not happy. <laughs> they were not, not happy. They were, they honestly looked at this and they were like, this looks like a mobile game. This looks like a game that was meant to be released on the PS2 in the early 2000s. Like what are they doing? What, what is this multi-million dollar company doing? And then the second reaction was, why didn't they just make it like Ulka Gaming? And if you're not familiar with Ulka Gaming, this is one guy who has been making a fan made Avatar The Lost Airbender game for the last like few years and honestly it looks better than this thing that Bamtan Games developed over the course of what looks like a few months. I try to not be critical about these things like seeing the trailer a trailer isn't a reflection of what we're gonna actually get as a finished product but what they've showed us thus far is not a good sign. The first thing that rubbed me the wrong way wasn't actually the style. I am completely okay with it. It's a cell shading Zelda Breath of the Wild Genji impact sort of style where they go for that anime look it is a 2d show so they're trying to translate that 2d style into 3d i get that i think there are a lot of games out there that are doing the exact same thing so it's a little hard for it to even stand out as a style the other gaming style is actually very interesting because even though everything like the buildings the environments everything seems very stylized but it's rendered in a very realistic way realistic lighting realistic textures i mean i can look at a single frame from this game and immediately recognized it as, oh, that's that Ulka Gaming fan-made Avatar The Last Airbender game. Like, that's not the most original style out there, but the market for this anime style is a lot more saturated than whatever Ulka Gaming is currently doing. But that's not to say that the fan-made game is 100% better and is perfect in any shape or form. If we go back to the trailer, honestly, if I look at some of these shots that come from cinematics, most likely, the facial expressions looks pretty good. All these characters look like the characters that we've seen in the show. I mean, we could have easily gotten models in the same vein as Alien Force. Ben 10 Alien Force, remember that game? Yeah, this is what Gwen looked like. <laughs> so in that regard, I think the models and the characters actually look okay. I think Aang does look a little goofy sometimes in certain parts of the trailer, but that is fine. In fact, I feel like that's the only step up on Ulka Gaming that they have. I mean, I'm a huge Ulka Gaming fan. I've been following this guy for the longest time, and I've seen this game develop over time. But even I can admit, that he's not a human modeler. I mean, this is the model for Aang, the character, the main character that he uses for basically everything, and it looks goofy. I mean, he's more of a world builder and a texture and an environment creator. I don't know what all the terms are, I'm not a professional, but still, I think Bamtan Games did choose the right style for their game. I think a lot of these shots do look quite good. The colors, the lighting, very anime-esque. I love it. I actually really do. But what shows me that this game is just a money grab and doesn't really take into account what it needs to encapsulate as an Avatar Lost Event game is the fact that the animation, the movements of the characters when they are bending is so stiff. It is so, so stiff. I mean, you think about the animated series and these guys, they're moving around, they're jumping, they're bending, they're throwing things while they're upside down and they're throwing rocks and bursts of air as they're spinning and flying across different environments and areas. Like, I understand that this is a game and it has its limitations to what you can do, but I feel like more time and effort could have been put into these animations. Like, if you really look at this, like, Toph stops moving and the rock is still moving, <laughs> so... What's going on there? Is she moving it with her mind without any sort of hand gestures or arm gestures? Like, come on. And before we carry on, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what kind of bender you would be if you lived in the Avatar world. It looks like a lot of these levels in the game are going to be puzzle-based, which is fine. You know, Zelda has done the same thing, and they have great fighting systems on the side, but I didn't see a lot of fighting. I saw a lot of bending and a lot of elements being thrown off screen, <laughs> but I didn't see what it looks like when characters actually fought other characters. For Alka, there is so much effort that's been put into the fighting system. He's thought about heavy attacks, lighter attacks, how to block. It seems like he's taken into account that bending is a very complicated system. And to put it into a game is a very complicated idea and complex idea to approach. But then halfway through this recording, I realized something. I went on to an IGN article and read up a little bit more on this new Avatar game. And I came to realize that that they said the focal point of this game is puzzle based. I was just deflated. I now realize why this game looks the way that it does. 
I want a game where I get to move through an environment and feel like the avatar or feel like a bender who's able to harness the elements with spiritual energy, not go through some mini puzzle games. Which is fine, you know, each to their own. If you don't like puzzle games, that is fine. But why are we paying $50 for a game that looks like this, that isn't super high quality, but is also just a set of puzzle games from what I understand from this article. But personally, I'm just gonna wait for Alka Gaming to release this game. And if you made it till the end of this video, I applaud you. Thank you so much for listening. Why not like and subscribe for more content and we'll check in the next one.